Creating a home inventory is very important for not only insurance purposes, but also for maintenance, future estate planning, and even the ability to market your home when you decide to sell it in the future. It's very easy to get started by clicking on the details button here on the main dashboard where you're going to want to enter in your address and some of the basic property statistics like the date built and the square footage. It's also good practice to take a few photos of the exterior of your house and upload them to this particular property details gallery and all you have to do is go to the upper right hand corner and select add photo. It's also good practice to store all your important property documents, again for insurance purposes uh, you can upload all those important documents and you have access to them whenever you need them. And again, the upper right hand corner you can add as many of those documents. If you use the main slider at the top and go to the inventory module, here's where you can go straight to all spaces where you can see all the spaces and rooms in your house. It's good practice to take a main photo of every single room in your house and you can see here that I've taken a couple of rooms here, but I've got a number of other rooms that I need to go to. And if I click on the kitchen, I can go to the photos tab and again I've taken three different photos from three different angles of the kitchen and now I can also go to the items tab where I see not only the fixed assets inside that room but also the personal possessions and contents. The fixed assets like the dishwasher and the cabinets and the countertops that's important for maintenance purposes as well as features in the future if you ever decide to sell your house. If I go into a possession like my Vitamix blender which I really love by the way you can actually track as much detail as you'd like or as little. Here you can enter in the value of that particular item, the date it was purchased, where you bought it. You can even identify if there's a warranty period and a warranty expiration, which the system is going to warn you about when something is going to expire. And you can go in as much detail as you'd like when you create your own inventory. And of course, you can take multiple photos of each inventory item in your house. You can see here I've got three, including the serial number on that particular item. And I can even go to the Documents tab and upload multiple documents, including receipts and owner's manuals. Thanks for watching this video about how easy it is to create a home inventory.